I'm bringing out of the vault Beauty Tip Tuesday. I haven't done one of these in, I don't know, probably a couple months, but a few weeks ago I posted on my stories a beauty product that I am in love with. And I got several requests for a Beauty Tip Tuesday to show you guys how I put these on. So let's get right to it. We're going to talk about Moxie Lash. These are magnetic lashes and they work. Let me tell you, about four years ago, I bought my first pair of magnetic lashes and I was very disappointed. I put them on, took them off, never wore them again. I think I actually threw them away. And I was hoping at that time, it was such a good idea, I was hoping at that time that somebody would figure it out. And Moxie Lash has. Today I'm going to show you there are four different styles so that you guys will know which style works best for you. And you might like two or three styles. Um, I like all four of them. <laughs> so this one is flashy lashes. You see how pretty they are? They have batty lashes and batty lashes are very dramatic. You can see how much darker those are than the flashy. They also have sassy lashes and they're similar to flashy, maybe a little bit wispier. And then they have baby lashes and baby lashes are a great daytime lash or for anybody that you know doesn't want to wear the full glam lashes like the flashy ones or the batty ones. With your Moxie Lash, you will get this liquid eyeliner. This is the magic behind the lashes. This is magnetic and you can see it's got a very fine tip. The big thing about the eyeliner is you want to make sure that it dries completely before you pop your lashes on. I have on pretty much everything that I wear. I've got my foundation, I've got my blush, my contouring, I've got some lip gloss on. I mean, I've done everything. Brows, so the only thing I haven't done is liner and mascara. All right, so you're gonna take your liner and you're gonna put it on just like you would a liquid liner. It goes on really easily. Try not to get it on your natural lashes, unlike me. I'll brush it out a little bit. My natural lashes are fairly long, so sometimes when I use any kind of liquid eyeliner, it's hard to keep it from hitting my lashes. The great thing about this is it's very forgiving because you're gonna pop the lashes on top of it and they're gonna hide most any little mistake or unevenness. And I did that one a lot better. You're gonna let that dry. Give it a good three minutes or more, <laughs> maybe even five, because you really do not want to put these lashes on without the liner being dry. I then curl my own lashes and I put just my regular mascara on my own lashes because I want my lashes to blend with the Moxie Lash. And if you've seen my um, natural lash video, I typically warm my eyelash curler, but I don't have my hair dryer in here, so I would normally do that here, but um, just take a look at my previous natural lash video and see how I warm my curler. Put mascara on. Just enough to coat my lashes. My lashes are blonde, so this is a pretty important step for me in order for the Moxie lashes to blend. I think I just got mascara on my skin. You see that? If you have any bobbles with any time you do your makeup, Q-tips are your friend. Just take a Q-tip and it comes right off. Now we're going to pop on the Moxies. Let's go from less dramatic to more dramatic. So we're gonna start with the babies. I'm going to make sure you take these off very, very gently. And then with the babies, I just put them right toward the edge of my own lashes to kind of give you that butterfly effect. Oh, do you see how easy that was? I mean, once your eyeliner dries, they just pop right on. When I first wore Moxie lashes, I was very curious if they would blow off because you will find that these are not as heavy as your typical just glue on lashes and so i was like man are they gonna blow off so i actually got in the car i had my husband drive and i got in the car and i stuck my head out the window <laughs> just to see if the wind would blow them off and they didn't move 
they did not move. So they are on there, they are sturdy. I've worn these on date nights. They last all night long. Look at that, look how pretty. To take them off, you just give them, the, I mean, it's that simple. Give them a tug, put them back in their original container. You wanna take good care of these. I believe they last up to 30 wears. So put them on their original magnets in the container. You can see, I don't know, can you see the container comes with little magnets? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're connected there for storing. Let's go to the sassy lashes. That's it. Super simple. They're all connected, that's it. I'll do the other eye. I think I wore these sassy ones on my date night. I believe. You can pinch them in with your other lashes just to make sure they're on there really nicely and they blend nicely and that's sassy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just give them a little tug to take them off. And let's move right on to flashy. I think they're a little bit longer. Yeah, these are these are much longer than sassy. There we go. Or maybe it's these that I wore on the day night. I don't know. I like flashy and sassy both a lot. All right, so yeah, those are way more dramatic than the sassy. It's hard to tell that in the case, so I'm glad I'm trying these on for you guys. Now let's move to the final style. Fatty ones are going to be super dramatic, super thick, super long. They're going to be your most glam lash. The liner, because I keep taking them on and off to show you guys, it's getting a little less magnetized because typically you won't take these on and off during the night. You don't, you wouldn't have to do that, but you can at least get an idea how dramatic these are. These are stage lashes. I would have worn these maybe I mean, you know, when I was competing at Mrs. Tennessee and Mrs. America, these would have been perfect for the stage. Super drama. Now I want to tell you how to take these off. I'm not going to wash my makeup off here. I don't have a way to because they're not sink. Um, but I do want to mention that you have to use an oil-based cleanser. And I stress that every time I talk about Moxie Lashes because... Um, I didn't <laughs> the first time I ever wore them. I didn't read the instructions and I used my normal cleanser and like the, the liner wasn't coming off and it was just, I think I pulled my own eyelash out. That was not Moxie's fault. That was my fault because I did not use an oil-based cleanser and Moxie Lash sells their own pre-moistened olive oil cotton swabs. These work fabulously. They're worth the little extra money to buy these, or you can use your own olive oil and a cotton swab but definitely use an oil-based cleanser to take off the liner. Not to take off the lash, you see how to take off the lash, but to take off the liner. And there you have it. That's Beauty Tip Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Send me some pictures if you wear Moxie lashes. I'd love to see them on you. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I'll see you next time.